Police in Virginia say the six-year-old who shot his teacher in a Virginia classroom used a gun his mother owned legally. Tonight, CBS 17's Maggie Newland is digging deeper into how the legal system handles gun violence when it involves a child so young. Maggie. Rod and Angela, the idea that a six-year-old could shoot a teacher is alarming and shocking to most of us. But I spoke with a local doctor who said he is saddened, but not surprised. Police in Newport News, Virginia, say a six-year-old acted intentionally when he used his mother's handgun to shoot his first grade teacher in the middle of class. But when it comes to criminal intent, Barbara Fetters, the director of the UNC School of Law's Youth Justice Clinic, says children that young simply don't have the mental capacity. Children of that age barely know right from wrongs. And she says they're too young to stand trial. You have to understand the charges that are being brought against you and assist in your own defense. And we're talking about people who's feet wouldn't touch the ground sitting at council table. Police say the gun in this case was purchased legally. It's not clear how it was stored, but police have said it's possible the parents could be charged. If something like this happened here in North Carolina, Fetters says... It would be hard to prove them guilty under the criminal statutes, and even if you did, it's a misdemeanor offense. 4.6 million kids in the United States live in a home with an unlocked loaded firearm. Dr. Brian Eichner, a pediatrician at Duke Children's Primary Care, wasn't surprised to hear about the six-year-old shooting his teacher. This sounds terrible, but it actually is surprising that things like this don't happen more often than they do. It's why he offers free gun locks to any family that comes in for an appointment. This is an example of what we give out. This is called a cable lock. Um, notice that it comes with two keys, which should not be kept inside the lock. And he asks every family to keep guns, whether at home or in the car, locked up, unloaded, with the ammunition in a separate place. Now, the minimum age which a child can be prosecuted in the juvenile justice system varies by state. Here in North Carolina, it was recently raised to 10 in most cases, but for some serious allegations involving serious felonies, an 8 or 9-year-old can go into the juvenile court system. We're live in Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.